Judges chapter 3, and we're going to see this happen a lot in the book of Judges. Verse number 9, the Bible says that when the children of Israel cried unto the Lord, the Lord raised up a deliverer to the children of Israel who delivered them, even Othniel, the son of Kenaz, Caleb's younger brother. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon him, and he judged Israel and went out to war. And the Lord delivered Cushan Rishathaim, king of Mesopotamia, into his hand, and his hand prevailed against Cushan Rishathaim. And I don't know why that name had to be in there twice, probably just to screw up people trying to read it. <laughs> just kidding. Flip over to Judges chapter 6, because the only other thing, the, the, the other main thing you're going to see, I, I mentioned what you're going to see very, very frequently is people preaching, right? People going out and speaking and preaching. That is number one. And number two is going to be people going out to war and fighting battles. When the, when, when the Spirit of God comes upon people, Spirit of the Lord, it's preparing them for a battle. So we need the Lord to be upon us to preach, to prophesy, and we need the Lord to come upon us to help us in our time of need, like with a spiritual battle. Now, obviously, these are physical battles going on. We're dealing in spiritual battles, and that's the whole teaching here and understanding is that God's going to be there to be your defender and to be there to help you to uh, even just to know how to give you the knowledge and the wisdom on how to proceed. And, and I don't have every example, by the way, of this happening in Scripture. So don't worry, because there's a lot of them. And you can look up for yourself. And you can look up all the times that David consulted the Lord on what to do in his battles. And the Spirit, the, we're going to see where the, where the Bible says that the Spirit comes upon David and is just with him then you know, for, for an extended period of time. So then you could just go back and see all these other times where David's acting righteously, and you say, well, the Spirit's with him there anyways. Look at verse number, or chapter 6, verse number 33. This is Gideon. The Bible says, Then all the Midianites and the Amalekites and the children of the east were gathered together and went over and pitched in the valley of Jezreel. But the Spirit of the Lord came upon Gideon, and he blew a trumpet, and Abiezer was gathered after him. So the Spirit of, of the Lord coming upon Gideon and when you know the story, you get a little bit more understanding as well. And for all these people, the Spirit of the Lord is going to provide boldness. Boldness to stand out. Boldness to, to step out in faith. Boldness to do something that might look crazy to some people. And Gideon gathering together a much smaller number and force against a much greater army might seem like a suicide squad or a death wish. But having God on your side and having that faith and then having God's spirit on you to help give you that boldness, help provide you the, the strength to keep going and to say, no, this is right, we're going to do this, is needed for that job. But see, when your heart's right and God's looking to use someone whose heart is right, then God will give you the extra spirit, the extra strength that you need to, make, to, to just keep moving forward. And it doesn't counter your will. That's so why your spirit needs to be willing. Your flesh is weak, but your spirit needs to be willing. And when your spirit is willing, God can, can supply the lack of the spirit to, to, to keep you moving in the right direction and doing what's right because you want to. 